after long putting style before comfort, now comfort is the style. I don't even know if I could go back to wearing dress pants. Pre-pandemic activewear made up a quarter of all clothing sales in Canada. Today, it's market above a third of the sales. So you can see how that's dramatically impacted apparel. Even luxury men's brands like Harry Rosen and Hugo Boss are trading suits for sweats. It's going to be hard to soon differentiate between athleisure and just casual or even workwear. Major retailers like Gap are evolving to keep up. Since 2019, Gap has closed more than 80 locations of its business casual brand Banana Republic in North America. And it's closed more than 200 locations of The Gap, including this flagship store in Toronto. But a new source of strength is Gap's athleisure wear brand, Athleta. It's opened nearly 40 locations over the same period, including its first in Canada just a short time ago. Athleta is a big part of the growth uh, trajectory for the corporation. Its leggings aim to be both comfortable and versatile. You can throw a boot on with it and, you know, wear it to work. The biggest activewear brands in Canada are Lululemon and Nike. They make up a quarter of the market, though according to this industry advisor, there is room for more. The market is fairly fragmented. It's highly competitive, but it's also an opportunity for brands to come in and disrupt. Canadian brand Michi aims to do just that with its newest work leisure pieces. I don't think the general customer is going to completely get it right away. I think it will take a few seasons. I think it'll take some competitors doing very similar things. Though a banner year for sales of Michi's basic leggings suggests comfort is not going anywhere. A model for everyday fashion that more and more Canadians are buying into. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.